Hey, Psych2Goers. Do you sometimes have a hard time telling whether or not someone likes you? It can be pretty difficult sometimes, but there may be a few subtle ways you can tell. To help you out, here are six psychological ways to tell if your crush likes you. Number one, they act flustered, silly, and sweat when they're around you. How nervous do you get around your crush? Odds are, if they like you too, they may just be as anxious as you are. Most people tend to get a bit flustered when they're around someone they're attracted to. Stammering, breaking out in sweats and clammy hands can be signs someone likes you so much that you make them nervous. Sometimes attraction can make us a bit silly or even dumb. Research has found that sexual arousal shuts off parts of the prefrontal cortex of the brain. This region of the brain is responsible for critical thinking, rational behavior, and self-awareness. So next time you're around someone you like, pay close attention. Do they always break out in sweat? Can they not speak as eloquently as they usually do? Maybe they simply have a secret crush on you. Number two, they remove any barriers between the two of you. Do you notice your crush removes any barriers between them as soon as you approach? Do they ever so subtly scoot closer to you when you're near? Do they lean more so towards you than anyone else in a group? Well, according to psychologist Jack Schaefer, people lean towards people they like and distance themselves from people they dislike. Inward leaning increases as rapport increases, meaning you may first turn your head towards someone and then your shoulders, followed by your torso. Then, if you're really interested in what someone has to say, you'll lean towards them. So if someone is attracted to you, odds are they may just lean towards you when they get the chance. Not just to be closer, but because they are deeply interested in what you have to say and who you are. Dr. Jack Schaefer also explains in Psychology Today that people who like each other remove any obstacles between them. He continues to say that a barrier does not necessarily mean that someone doesn't like you, but it may just show your rapport isn't as strong as you hoped it to be. Try to get to know them a bit more and share some interests of yours. Your rapport may just increase. Number three, they mirror your behavior. Have you noticed someone mirroring your behaviors, even to the point that they almost subtly adopt your style of speaking or language? Well, sometimes when someone really likes or admires someone, they'll subconsciously mimic their behavior. You've probably done it too. Think about it. Have you ever found yourself adopting someone else's gestures or movements at a party or social setting? It's not that you consciously intended it, and hey, maybe you did, but yet here you are suddenly acting and speaking like your crush. This psychological phenomenon is called the chameleon effect and was explored in further studies. People tend to subconsciously mimic other people's behavior in certain settings, that is, if we like them. So if you catch someone mimicking you, they either wanna be your friend or they may just feel attracted to you. Number four, their pupils dilate when they look at you. Okay, so next time you see your crush, look into their eyes. Yeah, I know, maybe difficult since you get all nervous and sweaty around them and start babbling like a fool, but hey, it's worth a shot. Why do this, you may ask? Because you'll wanna notice if their pupils dilate. According to body language expert, Patty Wood, author of Success Signals, a guide to reading body language, dilation is a brain response that occurs when you like and are attracted to something. So if you notice someone's pupils dilate when they look deeply into your eyes mid-conversation, this could likely be a sign they're attracted to you. And then if your pupils dilate in attraction as well, it's a good thing to be revealed. Number five, their face is flushed when they see you or talk to you. Something else to pay attention to? Along with staring into their eyes the next time you see them, notice if their face becomes flushed when you look at them. When people are attracted to someone, they can become anxious, a kick of adrenaline, and suddenly they're flushing. If you notice someone often blushes around you and their face becomes red when you're talking to them, they may very well like you as much as you like them. And number six, their smile is suddenly genuine when you're near. Nah. Do you smile when you slip into the sweet bliss of daydreaming about your crush? If you could only take them to your favorite taco stand and introduce them to your pet turtle, Larry. Ah, uh, well, I suppose you'll have to figure out if they like you first. Well, when you're around them, notice how often they smile and what kind of smile they have on their face. Have you ever heard of the Duchenne smile? There are a few common facial expressions that can give way to what someone is really thinking or feeling. A Duchenne smile is one of them. Want to know if someone is genuinely smiling in delight? You can simply look out for this smile. According to Healthline, this occurs when the zygomaticus major muscle lifts the corners of your mouth at the same time the orbicularis oculi muscles lift your cheeks and crinkle your eyes at the corners. 
Basically, it's the type of smile that reaches up to your eyes, causing those wrinkles by your eyes known as crow's feet to appear. This type of smile appears when someone is genuinely happy, as opposed to a polite and kind smile, or even a forced smile. Now, are they happy to see you because you're their friend or because they like you? Well, if they have several of the above signs, it looks like you'll be introducing them to Larry after all. Tacos in hand. Now ask them out already. You got this. I believe in you. So do you think your crush likes you? How many signs do they exhibit? Feel free to share with us in the comments down below. Whether you think they like you or not, it's likely worth it to ask them out to find out. Better to know you tried than having a bit of regret not letting them know how you really feel, right? So go ahead, ask them out for tacos. You got this. Larry the turtle and I, we believe in you. Yeah, he's a turtle. And so what? We hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend or someone you like. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. And as always, thanks for watching.